Hey man, what's going on? Trip Kramer here from tripadvice.com. Today I have a special guest. Her name is Casey O'Neill, and she's a sex and intimacy expert that is gonna help teach you the art of fingering. And you wanna learn this because this is absolutely 100% gonna happen once you're getting sexual and intimate with a woman, and you need to know the proper way on how to do it so you can have more fulfilling experiences and really be able to just completely blow her mind in the bedroom. Now, if you're having trouble getting to that point, you can always get my Hooked program. There's a link in the description down below. This is the program that's gonna help you get to the point where you are meeting lots of women and then be able to have these experiences that Casey will be talking about. So check that out if you still need help. Otherwise, here's Casey O'Neill. Check it out. Hello, hello. I'm Casey O'Neill. I'm a sex and intimacy coach who specializes in helping men like you have the hot, juicy sex life that you desire for the rest of your life. So Tripp invited me here today to give you three tips on how to finger your woman so that she is begging you for more. I'm so excited to talk about these. So they may seem really simple, but I promise you, if you do this with your woman, she is not only gonna be begging you to do this more, she's also gonna be letting her girlfriends know when you're not around how amazing you are in bed. And I promise you, you want that as well. So the other thing I wanna let you know is that every woman that you're with is gonna be different. And what I mean is every woman's got a different speed that she likes, pressure she likes, movement that she likes, and more when it comes to getting her off. So these tips are basic for any woman that you're with. Now with each woman that you're with, I will recommend that you ask her straight up what it is that she likes and what is, is it that she does to get herself off. Now if she doesn't want to necessarily tell you or if she's telling you and you're not quite getting it, what's even more fun is to invite her to show you. And she can show you in two ways. She's a little bit shy, a little bit apprehensive. One way she can show you is on your hand. Have her show you what is the pressure. Is it really, really hard or is it light as a feather? What's the speed like? Is it slow at first and then it speeds up really fast with more pressure? You know, like, do you like, does she like it up and down? Does she like multiple fingers? She's gonna let you know. What's even more fun and what I have my partners do is I have them show me by masturbating. I wanna know what it is that they do. What are they watching? What are they thinking? Is it slow in the beginning and fast near the end? Do they like to go up and down? Is there any insertion? Like, I'm fully present with my partner, watching everything that they do, because I know that if this is what gets them to orgasm, that if I do it, I'm gonna get them to orgasm. Okay, now that we have that all out of the way, let me do the three tips that are gonna make her beg for you to do this. The first one is warm up. You want to warm up a woman's body. And it's not just her vulva. You want to warm up her whole body. So this is things like massage. This is things like making sure that the bed is comfortable. This is things like making sure that the room is a little bit warm, or that the music sounds really great. Like set the stage for it. It takes between 15 and 20 minutes for a woman to orgasm. So you want to make sure that you have things set up so that she can fully surrender and open herself to you so that she's ready to go. Other ways of warming her up are like just playing with the pussy, just revering it, looking at it, worshiping it, telling her how much you love it, playing with the labias, playing with the perineum, playing with the clit, playing with the inner and outer thighs, everything. Like give it full attention and take your time which is actually gonna bring us into the second one, which is slow the F down. Let me tell you that again, slow down. There is no rush, you do not have to rush. If she is ready for you to go down on her, you've won. Take your time, okay? Literally, go slow. If you think you're going slow, go even slower. Take your time with it. Ask her to tell you what is it that she wants you to do. Play with the different areas. Just go slow. Don't go right into penetration and do this. That's what we see in porn, don't do that. Don't go on the clit and doing this in the very beginning. We need to warm ourselves up and get aroused. 
the more you arouse us, the more we want you. Okay. So doing this is going to help you with that. Okay. And then the next and final thing is to use persistent and rhythmic stimulation while maintaining presence and focus with her. Okay, what do I mean by that? So persistent rhythmic stimulation is when you are noticing that her breath is increasing, so she's breathing more, you're hearing more moans, the sound is getting louder, her body's getting tense, she might be getting flushed, she's getting close to orgasm. So what we need from you guys is to keep doing what you're doing. Don't stop, okay? Keep doing what you're doing. If, you're, if it's working, keep doing it. The reason for this is if you change it up, my body might, be go, might go into shock and it might not know what's going on. And so it's gonna take me a while to get back into my body, get back into the arousal, and like get back into where I'm like, okay, now we're back at it again. So if it's working, keep doing it. Please don't change. The other thing is maintaining presence and focus. So the more you're paying attention to her, the more you're paying attention to what her body's doing, the bigger the turn on is for her. There's nothing I love more than watching my partner's body and watching what they do as I'm doing the movement. I can tell what they need based on their movement. And again, guys, this is gonna help you win big time, okay? So the three things, warm her up, slow down, and if it's working, keep doing the same stimulation that you're doing. All right, that's it. If you would like more information, I have a PDF that gives you the top 10 tips on how to get her begging for more. And you can email me at askcasey, which is A-S-K, K-A-Y-C-E at gmail.com. I'll have you fill out a short survey and get you over that PDF right away. Or if you're interested in working together, you can go to xokc.com slash schedule. Again, that's X-O-K-A-Y-C-E dot com slash schedule. And have a delicious pleasure-filled day.